All right, uh, I'm going to talk about Rock Me Amadeus. I'm using Linux Lite. Uh, this is actually the installer. I'm using it on another computer because uh, I'm just using it on another computer. Just to show you that I could do it. And uh, I installed, record my desktop so that I could demonstrate it. Um, I had originally uploaded this video. I had done this video and uploaded it and it had music videos in it and I thought well since I didn't have the sound then YouTube wouldn't get me for it but they got that they saw the video and then they were like there's there's copyrighted material in this and I'm like dude you've got copyrighted material on your site and people are openly displaying it and you're not really taking it down so what's the point you know I mean you should be they should be getting you for all sorts of stuff but they're but you're getting on me for putting up a video that's or that's demonstrating a site that's using your site and so there should be some little clause in there that you're you're getting video content from YouTube site that is possibly copyrighted but it is it is fair to use it I, I don't know maybe I just don't understand the copyright law and I could probably just go ahead and use it and there won't be any problem but um, I didn't want to go against the grain of that so I just said okay I'll use my own videos from YouTube to demonstrate my website which uses music videos that probably are illegal but big deal okay so anyhow um, and I do want up from from what they do which is I um, I'm, I do I make the best use of their own player than that in ways that they don't even do it and uh, they could do a better job but I you know they're they're like every other conservative organization they if it's not broke don't fix it um, we'll just avoid adding actual good stuff to it and we will try to figure out some way to make money on it and um, I don't know um, they're competing with Netflix and all those other guys and they're competing with um, Vivo and or all these other um, video outfits and eventually somebody's going to get an idea of how they can do everything that's going on on YouTube including all these free music videos that are getting illegally populated up there anyhow um, let's get into Rock Me Amadeus what it does so first you go into your web browser or you go into your your cell phone will work um, I've actually used my site on an iPod um, it's not quite the same experience but it's close um, the difference is, is that when the videos come up it won't autoplay so you have to go in and you have to hit play on the video and then it will start playing videos in succession which is what my website does so you go up here and then you well you go up to here or you go to the Google search because this isn't the no that's not Google's this is Google's over here so um, let's make sure this is Google that I'm doing this through let's do it through Bing okay we're doing Bing okay now I'm gonna type in rock me am a day us and this is my website and it used to be called Channel Z but you can just click here and uh, this is what it looks like now this rock me this let me do the full screen here and I'll just okay and so you can see recognizable videos in here um, I've got one in here that's called something like um, a demo or something it's got my own content in it I added it just a second ago it doesn't take me any time to bring in a playlist from YouTube it it takes me less than three minutes to do it so any playlist anything that you can show on YouTube or anywhere that's got YouTube content I can bring it into this website in like no time at all um, and if you need demonstrations of that you look at my other videos they'll show you it. Um, the only difference between the what I'll show you here and uh, and my what I had for my Channel Z videos earlier is whatever extra things I put into my website. I don't know what. So let me 
go looking for this video that I this um, playlist that I put in oh there it is and it's I just saw it this is the one and so this will be the one that I'll use to demonstrate the website okay this oculus mode thing this is if you've got an oculus go and you want to use my website and you click like that everything gets smaller but this is the resolution and size of the web browser on the oculus go and from in here you can pretty much see the and select whatever content you want and you can watch the music videos on an oculus go so it's just a special mode for people who have oculus goes um, down here it says to remove banner ads you need an ad blocker you will not see um, advertisements in my playlists um, the reason why is because YouTube um, cannot put advertisements in their YouTube embed uh, as such for banner ads and the reason why is because the advertisers need to agree with the context of the website in which their video will be shown such for example if somebody has pornography in their website or they're a terrorist organization and they put an advertisement for Ford Bronco in there uh, Ford is obviously going to not want their um, content to be shown there and so they're just gonna or a religious organization you know a church uh, shows an, an advertisement in a terrorist uh, website they're not going to want it shown there and so YouTube's um, fallback for that is don't put advertisements on embeds and so I take advantage of that fact to actually show all the video content with without um, advertisements it's it's easy just you just have to use an embed player from YouTube and you can still get music videos from their website however you can only get the video content that is permitted to be used um, in an embed if you turn embeds off in the video content that you produce it can't be shown on my site and um, every now and then videos get removed and I have to run a script on all of these playlists to guarantee that the content will get um, removed from the playlist um, that can't be shown anyhow anymore otherwise you get subjected to that uh, that message that this content can't be shown and there's no way that I can determine other than going through the de developers interface for YouTube's website um, to determine um, if the videos can't be shown uh, the player won't tell you that the video that you put up was not shown and I can't access it through JavaScript which is how I'm manipulating the, the, um, the um, player um, I can't go through that to determine if the video couldn't be shown and go to the next video or at least I haven't recently checked to see if I could could detect that and if I can I'll go in and fix it that way too um, but the only way I do now is by running scripts on the videos the video playlist internally also um, one thing I do with my videos um, is that I can adjust the volume and the set and end points on the video when it plays back and my website uh, what I can do with it with the playlist and this isn't normal but um, if if I set one up and uh, I can I can run a script uh, at home that will download every video from YouTube using YouTube DL which is a common script that will do it and uh, I analyze the audio for um, when silence begins on the front and when or when silence ends on the front of the video and when it begins on the end of the video to truncate the time of the video uh, towards just showing you the music content and none of the none of those silence on the end or the beginning and that way you're always seeing music video content um, if I haven't run that script then it doesn't then the, it'll play the entire video in some cases I can actually just go into the playlist and truncate it myself I can adjust where the starts and the ends are and I can also set the volume level and that's another thing that my 
scripts will do is that it'll check to see what the, the level of the recording is at and it will adjust it to, um, to uh, up to three times its level. And how it does that is, is I, I automatically decrease the volume of all the videos in the playlist to 25 out of 100 so that I can, I can increase it um, to 100 if uh, something needs to be increased three times the volume of, of what it is. Um, I'm going to put in something into the into the scripts into the software that will um, detect if the playlist has even been modified to uh, change the volume of the videos and if it hasn't then it'll just um, it'll just default on the 100% volume by default and that way you, all your video content will will be um, if you know if I have stuff that I haven't modified the volume on it will just play it to the fullest um, I haven't done that and so that means that everything even the playlists that haven't been modified will play at a volume level of 25 now um, that may be a problem on your cell phone and that may be I mean that's a problem that is a problem on the cell phone is that you have to have something to increase the volume of the videos you will probably I mean it would be nice if we could get something like a limiter on a cell phone to play back YouTube videos and that way we could always guarantee that the volume would be level um, but there is no such thing and it would be nice if YouTube put that into their uh, player and such that you could turn on a limiter and it would actually analyze the recording volume and, and normalize the, vi the video ahead of time that but they don't do that that's what I'm saying they're like any other conservative organization it's don't if it's not broke don't fix it they don't bother to do things like that they could but they you know for some reason it's not this idea has not entered their their collective minds so um, anyhow uh, let me see what was or I was gonna show you I was gonna show you what the sound level is and uh, when you um, work with, so I'm going to go sound up. Um, uh, you can get to it from here. We can see uh, sound settings and output devices. And when you play back, you know, any kind of output, you can uh, adjust the uh, playback there. And it will go beyond a hundred percent. It'll go up to one hundred and fifty percent. So those people that saw the uh, movie, uh, this is Spinal Tap. Whenever they're talking about their volume control going to eleven, because you need to go higher than ten. That's kind of the same idea here as that uh, in Linux. You can actually increase your volume one hundred and fifty percent. There is nothing saying that you couldn't increase your volume to a million. Um, it's it's just that um, the people who develop the software don't put features in their software like that because they want people to kind of keep things normal to the right volume level but when you need that kind of when you need more amplitude why not just offer ability for people to just um, play back at a multiple of whatever the volume of whatever the recording is and let them risk whatever um, uh, whatever amount of um, uh, what they call it there there's um, uh, granular or uh, they, I forgot what they, there's a there's a filter that the people in, who create music uh, use that actually just decreases the quality of the amplitude and the, the quality of the frequency playback and it gives them a certain kind of um, old school sound playback. That's the kind of thing they need to put in YouTube is the ability to, uh, for people to adjust the frequency and the, and the amplitude of the playback to whatever they want and to use a limiter. If they would do that, they, it would be so much nicer. People wouldn't have to keep adjusting their volume levels every time a video comes on that's that's either recorded 
I mean, say they were listening to a recording before that was recorded at a low volume level and all the samples are really low and they have to adjust the volume knob and then all of a sudden they see another video that's at the right volume level and it's recording and it blows their speakers and they're like they can't it's not a very good experience so I actually tried to, to make it a better experience by making music videos go end to end by making sure that the um, that the um, the amplitude is at the correct volume or something that was simple that wasn't going to keep people keep adjusting their volume level um, when when something comes up I can't guarantee it's gonna it, it's not going to happen in here but um, for some of these playlists it has been adjusted and has been fixed so um, I've got lots of playlists in here and you can go to um, you can there's just <laughs> I've got even got a playlist for people who just want to who just want to be Rickrolled so I I do that and uh, see I've got best of playlists now I would I would let other people put their playlists up here but um, my experience is people don't tend to like know how to use the interface the back-end interface for in putting playlists in and um, I do have tutorials on it but my feeling is is that if you want to put up your own videos go and get the copy of my website that's on github download the source code um, install it on a server that's in a lamp environment and do it yourself um, I'm not going to do it here because I just don't I, I figure if if I can't do it then nobody can do it uh, you know can do the um, uh, these playlists so let's go to the example playlist so I'll go to the first page go to the next page and next page until we see it's in its rightful place at the bottom there and where is it oh there it is and this is the one and so actually no it's probably got some uh, copyright content on it right now I'll just click it anyhow and <laughs> I'm talking about the same thing I'm talking about here uh, so you hit the resize screen here now this video actually okay this vi these videos some of the videos will actually show you the um, uh, some of these videos will like actually show you the um, the um, demonstration of the website on the screen I think this one probably does that let's see what what this is about oh how to add channels uh, music content to and uh, let's see did I actually even try to get it on the screen look at that I didn't uh, and that's kind of bad um, so the, the thing is is that uh, you can go in and see how I, I did it um, from these other videos um, if you want to see all of the videos that I have in this playlist then you go to no TV and you go to icons sorry that it keeps popping up the and you can also increase the interface size so you can see all the stuff and then you have to do a resize screen again and uh, stop that and then go to um, let's see no TV stop it and icons and now the icons are really large so you can see all the videos that I got in here this one here is done in VR if I click on that you can see video okay and so this one is a VR video if you have a VR headset you can see this in 3d VR 180 and uh, but that isn't what I'm really demoing my site for and, and 
it's not for VR video I am really just trying to show what it this site does and so if you if you go to these playlists uh, then look at these videos and you see what it does but you go to the end of the video and if I go to the ultimate end way down here and let it play for like the last 15 seconds and and it should go to the next video and it'll just and it'll start playing again okay so that's all my site does but it does it for music videos and um, and I also have a site that does it for Christian content and that's the old channel channel Z .com. if I go there and it's also you can also call that one up by says me it's the same site and you might have to decrease your view size here um, and all these talk about have Christian music and Christian and Bible and NIV and all that stuff and the reason why I changed this over is because or originally I took down Channel Z and I thought you know I kind of still like my old music videos and really isn't that much of a concern whether people are exposed to secular content um, you should be able to see what you what I had on before and even if I am kind of focusing on more Christian stuff um, the thing is is that I, I want people to have access to the software and then see what the hot software does on various sorts of things now if you go to github and you do a search on github and you go look for uh, channel Z you will find the source code and uh, it is where is it dude um, projects that's not the right one that's my uh, I tried to do something with uh, with Alexa and so let me see if it's here uh, channel Z okay it's this one right here so you download that guy right there and I'll, I'll just demonstrate what, what's in it so let's open up a terminal window and I'll set this up to be always on top then we will go um, and I'll just click that and uh, I guess uh, okay just in uh, download and so it downloads it save it and we'll save it to desktop save and uh, then we will access it from the terminal and CB desktop. Ah, now all the all the tappings coming into the because this mic, this Yeti mic, is really sensitive. So uh, tar zxf uh, channel z. Oh, um, yeah. We can do it there. So there's the folder, and we we'll pop into it, and it's got everything. It's got the tapes folder here is where all the videos will go, and then there is a scratch, and that's got some stuff in it and tools. These are for um, you put the tools in your binary in in your executable path so that on your server and you can go ahead and uh, do things like uh, weed playlists you can weed playlists um, and what it does is it looks to see what content is static and it removes that content and all it does is it just looks at the first and last uh, thumb or the 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 last two thumbnails of the video for the because um, you can have four thumbnails and it checks to see if they're different or if they're the same and if they're the same then it weeds them out 
Uh, it also weeds out things that can't be shown on the site. Volume adjust, adjust the volume of the playlist. Um, that actually is the script that will go and download the YouTube videos and um, check to see what their recording volume is. You need, uh, in, in, in addition to volume adjust, you will need uh, M, uh, what is it, um, the the MPEG, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, there's an MPEG program that you can use to create MPEGs and and uh, and work with them, I forgot what it's called. So you use that and then you have uh, SOX which will let you analyze audio sources and so I use those two programs with Voladjust and YouTube DL to analyze the tracks and then I just use the output from the programs to determine volume levels and where the volume where the silence is in the track and just takes the um, the first silence and last silence to determine how to truncate the track uh, of the video unique playlist um, that just guarantees that um, all the content in the playlist is unique and uh, that it is there's no repeats no cloned stuff um, time adjust um, uh, that's also the same thing as vol adjust tape codes uh, that just lists all of the codes that are in a tape which is what I call my channel playlist so they're called tapes split tapes um, this will split a tape into multiple smaller tapes and that's necessary if you've got say 5,000 videos and it just takes too long to load uh, 5 or 20,000 videos um, it actually won't even work it's better best to to uh, use a thousand to two thousand videos or less um, shuffle tapes that will take all the, the um, tapes that are in the playlist all the videos that are in the playlist and it will shuffle them so they're in a random mode um, if you don't like the order that we're in show playlist that shows all the details and information on a playlist as well as the um, as well as the uh, internals format that I've got for the playlist which is a simple line of variables um, that include the volume level the start and end times and the videos plus um, other kinds of information like duration and you know I don't know there's a number of things in there and uh, <laughs> then I got here comes out my uh, my uh, uh, so remove shit <laughs> so if you're something you don't want in the video playlist you can remove it based on keywords that may occur anywhere in the content description so if, in, if it's title or details or anything, you can just remove it for that reason. Um, reduce playlist. Um, that, I forgot what that does. <laughs> Prepare tapes. Um, no taste, no long shit. So um, if, if I don't like rap videos, I can say no taste, anything rap, and it will remove rap videos. If I say no long shit at uh, anything that's longer than 20 minutes or 15 minutes or something can be removed from the playlist. Count tapes. This counts how many tapes are in the um, in the playlist. Auto harp. Um, auto harp actually is is a script that will go through all the playlists and it will it will do the volume adjust and the time adjust and everything for you. Um, append tapes that will take multiple tapes and append them to each other. And uh, so anyhow, and we see uh, IMG, just various courts, sorts of uh, images that are used in the site. Sync, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't remember what it was. Changer, Meta, and these are really just for playlists and stuff. So um, configuration and these are old playlists. 
you can probably figure out what the original, what the um, first some of the playlists that I've got on my site. You can probably figure out from that um, how to adjust the playlist, but you don't know the script to use to do that with. So you probably still could modify them, but I don't think anybody's going to do that anyhow. So and then there's JavaScript in here, jQuery and um, probably there's probably reasons I shouldn't put this stuff inside of there but it's already in there and if they want to take it out just take it out you know um, there's also some stuff in there that uh, I don't even know if it is needed but anyhow um, and then it's got a readme and, and all the PHP files in the site are um, they're all um, GPL'd, so whatever you want to do with it, it's perfectly fine. Um, and then I've got in the README, I've got information on how to get things set up and installed. And uh, let's see, I think it's I think it's pretty well described. If it if it if you if you're really clueless about it and you know PHP, just go and read the source, you'll figure it out. Um, and then these SQL codes are here, the database schema for, which is really not much of anything, just a bunch of tables. And you install this SQL stuff and it will, um, this stuff is kind of huge, the video metabase. And that's just, um, that's just the, this actually is the got the video codes that are in my website or in Rock Me Amadeus and you can actually see how I've got things set up in there. Um, this album SQL thing is um, a bunch of albums. I think this is I don't think this is the same thing as the metabase. This is a bunch of albums and they're used in the script to determine how to encode the encode the um, the playlist. Um, ID that is used to let you access the playlist and so all that stuff is in there and, and it's you know it's and then there are some other scripts that I was trying to write that didn't really weren't really needed um, MTV Suckdown was it uh, uh, I don't remember how, what all these do but um, so I've got these things called bookmarklets that will literally just look at a YouTube um, screen and we'll just suck down everything that's in there um, based upon the images that are in the YouTube content which I found out have the video codes in them and um, or it will um, so let me go back to Rock Me Amadeus so Rock Me Amadeus and um, Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, but you know, the thing is, it it plays like MTV first year, which had no advertisements. It did have station of identifications. I don't have that in there here, but it would be cute to like have a playlist where there was actual MTV um, station identifications in there, you know, of VJs coming on and introducing the videos, but I don't want to put that much work into a playlist. The, the way I set up these playlists is I basically just go and I have a script that will go through a, um, we'll use the web version of Spotify and we'll just suck down all of the, the content off the page that it can detect is, um, is album information and uh, the band. I don't use their, their straightforward, supposedly straightforward interface for accessing their content because it's way too complex for me and um, I don't want to go through that many hoops to get the information so I just basically rip it from their web interface using bookmarklets which is also how I rip it from all of the playlists that are on YouTube um, I can use a bookmarklet and it can suck down all the images off of the uh, either somebody's site that's using YouTube embed to play content or I can do it directly from YouTube site or it looks at the links that are in the site and it determines that information from it and if they really wanted to go the links to keep me from doing that um, 
I can use things like Phantom JS um, or whatever um, Chrome, whatever Google, whatever their parent company is offering in Chrome for a headless um, browser to go in and scrape their content, which I could probably do. And I haven't tried to do it, but that is because they haven't tried to make it hard for you to do that. So, um, and so I'm I'm really feeling what this what how the sausage is made because I really don't care. Uh, my I myself am kind of a socialist. I don't care about money. Um, I have money, but it's not. But it's enough that I don't really have any reason to care about it. Um, to the same extent that somebody is working hard to make a living cares about money. Um, so. I don't have any real need to put advertisements in my site. I don't like advertisements. I hate them with a vengeance. I wish they would they would die and and jump off a cliff and cease to exist from the face of the earth because advertisements drive a lot of the bad content that we get on cable. For instance, Fox Television, they are driven by ads. It is the reason why they pander to a conservative view point. It's the reason why the conservatives get the wrong information is because Fox will guarantee the content panders to their worldview so they only see the content they want to see. They, they never see the, the content they need to see. So. Call from Matrix Magical. My, uh, I live with my parents and uh, Matrix they get so many calls from from just various sorts of really stupid places and I would like to eliminate the that that even happens I hate so I hate all I, I like uh, capitalism when it makes sense I hate it in all other cases I, and for instance I hate incorporation I wish we would do away with incorporation altogether but now that it the idea is out there and probably every other country would permit it but it will never disappear from America because people don't understand what incorporation does it makes a company behave uh, it gives the company the rights of an individual with none of the responsibilities of an individual that is if a, if a corporation does something criminal um, they might go after certain people but they will probably not and the company will go bankrupt it's it's um, stuff will get liquidated um, to pay that back the creditors but nobody will really get blamed and so it permits a lot of really bad companies to continue to exist and now the corporations are at a level where even governments can't really control them you know they do whatever the heck they want to and for those people that believe that Atlas Shrugged, yes, Atlas Shrugged. Um, they're out there doing it elsewhere. If you think that MAGA is going to make sense, yeah, MAGA, forget it. Um, it is, uh, just think about this, the, the Chinese will do uh, all of our products for us and um, they will make our products, but they'll do it at a reduced uh, cost, a much reduced cost. Our businessmen will take them here and sell them for a great margin. They make a lot of money off of it. Um, the Chinese government is is negotiating with companies to have them pass on trade secrets so that they can offer the services that are needed to create the equipment in China, but they're going to turn around and use it on us. So that thing saying in the Bible that don't cast your pearls before swine unless they come and trample you is the exact same thing that China's going to do. They bought our debt so um, that if we don't pay back our debt to China, uh, eventually China will own a good bit of America and they will be controlling our, our whole system. So if you think you're not under communist rule, yes you are um, to some extent because they are a creditor to this to this country okay um, also um, keep in mind as I was saying the Chinese will work for much less than we will work here who is the corporations going to favor they're going to favor the Chinese 
So those jobs are not coming back. Um, and the people that want the illegal aliens, and really they're just wanting Mexicans out of America, uh, if they're here and they're providing value to America and they're in, improving the economy here, if the money is really going here, then why are we complaining? Okay, They should be citizens if they're providing value. They're going to be paying our taxes. They're going to be supporting our country. Um, they're here because where they are, we won't pay them a, a just amount of money for their services. If we provided the same, if, if all of our corporations that occupy America were to provide the same rights that are offered in America to workers outside and to offer them the same kind of wages we do here, we wouldn't have anybody here you know, coming here. They, they wouldn't have any reason to come here. They would be in their other countries, and we would have a fair marketplace, and we would be able to compete with them. But it's because the corporations treat people unfairly in other countries it, and offer them lower wa wages, and those people will, will do it at dirt wages with no, law, with no labor laws, and they'll get abused by these corporations, is the reason why we have all these fantastic products in America. And they will do it to the point where they've sucked all the money out of America. And once there is nothing here in America for it to provide that's any better than the rest of the world, um, then some other country will take over. And uh, it will probably be China. China will probably... And then we all have to learn Chinese. So the thing with this MAGA idea that uh, the Republicans are pushing forth, and because they're conservative, because some conservative people don't, if they think they think that if it is broke broken don't if it's not broke then don't fix it that kind of attitude means we won't move unless we're unless we're required to unless that we see no point uh that we can't do it anymore is um it's coming about to the, it'll come to a point to where until you are completely butt fucked from this whole thing and i'm sorry i used that word um, that you will have to change. Um, so that's my viewpoint. And so the thing is, is with my website, it's of the same viewpoint is, is that um, everything should be available without advertisements, without a concern for making money. I offer the source code and the reason for that is so if people want to make money, then they can do it on their own server, but not my server. My server will not have that kind of thing going on. If it's going to be advertisements, it's going to be like that uh, that uh, Spurlock uh, movie where he pre pretty much made the entire movie just nothing but um, but um, advertisements. You know, he he funded the entire movie with uh, with advertisements, and he made the content of the movie advertisements just to show how the sausage is made. Um, and so the thing is, is that I don't, I don't want advertisements. I don't want to ever see an advertisement. I don't. If I'm watching music videos, I want to see, uh, I want to see music videos. I just that's all I want to see. I don't want to see any other, anything else. And if it's anything else, then it will be named on the playlist what it is. Um, I've got playlists in here. I think still that um, will show you the reasons why I think the things I think, you know, um, or you'll find it on the Channel Z site. And um, this one right here, Fox News, is f faux news. It's, uh, it's news, it's not anything of the such. And in this playlist, I think I also have one on Trump um, about things like the fact that he doesn't believe in truth. Um, so, Anybody who really kind of hates what I'm talking about, keep in mind that if you choose to be ignorant about stuff, that means you are ignorant. If you choose not to hear all the news, you're probably going to think all the news is lies. You're only going to be given some of the story, not all of the story, which is what Fox News does. They only give you some of the story. They don't give you all of the story. If they gave you everything, you would feel bad about it and you'd stop watching. That's the reason why people who are conservatives keep watching Fox is because they tell them the news they want to hear. It's the same with CNN. And CNN and did, did it 
when CNN before Fox, when CNN had content, it usually was the same content every hour for the entire day. It was not there's not much entertainment in it. You went there to see the news, and then you hit the news, and then you would go on your merry way. Um, then Fox came around, and then they said, "Hey, we can turn this into an entertainment medium." And say, "How do you do that?" Well, we're you know, uh, Rupert Murdoch is from the world of tabloid journalism, and tabloid journalism is about making crap out of nothing, and it's about making news out of nothing, and um, so basically punditry and he brought that and he showed that it could work and then he showed that he could capture an entire audience and keep them enthralled for hours and hours on end that is keep them watching so that the advertisement advertisers would always have this captive audience of people and he did it to a particular group and pandered to that group to make them kind of there's a slave to this content to this channel and then CNN says, hey, it's really successful for you. Wow, uh, we can do it with the liberals, you know. The liberals won't watch Fox. And so the, they CNN takes all the liberals. And, you know, I don't know who the libertarians go to uh, and who the Green Party goes to, but um, that's how it's done. And it is that way because of Fox. If before Fox, they didn't do news like this. Before Fox, it was trying to be objective and trying to be uh, correct. But the way news is today is pr probably as a result of the way Fox is. And calling the, all the news liberal is really kind of stupid because um, news is what it is. It's, it's news. And it's because of the, the way that news is done, the way Fox turned news into a business, into a real business, rather than just being about giving people everything that's on the table of what's known in the in the universe. Um, they give you stuff that's right-wing propaganda or it's news, but in any case, it's only some of the truth, not all of the truth. And, that, and that's the reason why people think uh, all news is lies is because most of the news they hear is some of the truth not all of the truth it's uh, it's selling telling only the stuff you need you want to hear is kind of lying in a sense but it's not really you know it's kind of you know god um won't tell you the day on which G jesus will come back to earth nobody knows the hour of the time that's a truth that you will never hear um, but there's other truth there, you know. So there's nothing wrong. There's no sin in telling only some of the stuff and not all of the stuff. But the thing is, it is generally kind of bad for some people that, you know, when it's news, you want to hear it. You want to know everything that's on the table, and you don't get it with Fox. So if you're, if you're a conservative and you think you know more than liberals, Keep in mind that Fox doesn't care. They just want you to, to to watch their advertisers advertisements. They sell you as a captive audience. That is a product. They sell you as a product, just the same way as MTV tells their audience as a product. Um, they sell they their trade magazines, and they will actually advertise that they're passing on to the advertisers a. A specific audience if you want the Republican conservative the fiscal the religious conservative audience uh, we will provide it to you and they will think that you're the greatest thing since sliced bread if your advertisements pander to their views and if they do then they will support you and they'll support everybody and and you'll be loved and you'll be accepted and that's the way they make money and everything they do is to keep that audience enthralled to keep them there it isn't to tell them truth it's to give them some of the truth the truth that they agree with and that's the reason why you probably think that news is lies now the reason why trump says that news are all news is lies is because he wants to see what he can get away with so he that's the reason why his his behavior is erratic he's trying to figure out where your comfort zone is and then he can determine what he can get away with by going through that comfort zone. 
it, it, he can see which things pander to your to your um, feelings. If the, he can make you feel good um, by making fun of Nancy Pelosi, then it's a it's a it's a thumbs up for him. He's going to do it. He's going to do anything that will take advantage of the shallowness of Republicans, and um, he will do anything to make the liberals look bad. But what he's trying to do is he's trying to make you feel good about yourself, make you feel good about the Republicans, so that he can then go on and do other stuff behind your back that you probably don't know about that he's doing to make himself money, and that's all he cares about. Uh, it says in the Bible, and I use the Bible because there's a lot of religious conservatives in the, in the conservative camp that think that the, all the religious people are in the conservative camp, there's there's liberal conservatives. I am a liberal. I mean, liberal, re, religious liberals. That was a that was a faux pas there. But um, I'm a I'm a a liberal, a religious liberal. I'm a liberal Christian, and I believe that Jesus, if he were here um, on earth today, he would probably be a liberal more than he would be a conservative. Um, so. Uh, he was he was doing things that were kind of rebellious in his time with the people there and the 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 conservatives at the time were the Pharisees and he was there to change the culture. So I'm talking about changing the culture here. We need to change the culture. Anyhow, let's get out of this. This is this is my religious political stance, but my site is really just about. Uh, it's it's me trying to do right by people who want to see music videos and um, the thing about YouTube that I don't like is they force you to go and find stuff or they try to find stuff that you might like and using artificial intelligence algorithms and I don't really like that I just want to see th things from a particular era or from a particular group I don't want to see anything else um, if it's country music I want to see all the country music um, if it's like, if I want to see, um, do documentaries, I'll see just documentaries or Christmas music, I just see Christmas music or just see all the billboard hits from 1983 or the best of 2010 to present or, you know, um, stuff that I've thrown on all space and, or things that I've sung. I can sing up to about 60 or 80 songs by heart lyrics and all, um, I do this when I'm at work and it, uh, people just kind of think it's phenomenal that I can remember all these lyrics and I've even had people tell me you know if you could rap you would be so famous and I'm like I don't care I, I I'm not really not into rap I don't care I I'm I'm somebody who is outside of the box of everything that is in our world and I don't care um, all I care about is having access to music, being able to listen to new music, and I'll bring in new music from time to time in my playlists. And um, I don't really like the rap, but it's there too. I'll put more rap in there, I'll put more of everything. I'll put, you know, even if it's called satanic music, I'll put it there because you need to understand the viewpoints of the people that you're going against. If, you know, they have to have them all there. You have to have access to it. Because if you don't, if you can't do that, then you're not doing apologetics. And talk to any Christian and ask them this question, what's apologetics? And if they can't answer you on that point, or if they have to go to their iPhone to, to figure out what it is, um, say, I'm not going to, don't, I don't care. Uh, whatever you have to say, I have no reason to listen to you if they don't know what apologetics is. Because that's bad apologetics to do what I just said, but I'm just saying that if you don't know what apologetics is, there's no reason why I should even listen to you. Um, I know apologetics, and um, I'll leave it to you to figure that one out. But um, that's something that everybody needs, and apologetics is going to fix our country if we have proper apologetics um, in this country. And uh, we need to try to understand everybody from every position and stop projecting our 
our views on the rest of the world about how we can just make everybody right and make everything perfect and get everybody on our side it's not going to happen um, the only way you're going to get anyone on your side is to make them a friend um, and you do this on a personal level you don't do it on a general level um, if I see there's problem in the problems in the world I will name it for what it is and they'll say it's judgment but I think that the judgment it talks about in the Bible is when you judge a, a person and you say they'll never change and that's that's judgment that's that's the kind of judgment that I think that Jesus was against um, the kind of ju or judgment that God's against he wants us to not he wants us to judge people it says it, judge them by the fruits if their fruits are bad then the, the person is bad you'll know them by their fruits that's judgment but that's to protect yourself from somebody that's how to get you out of a situation where you shouldn't be um, it's how to avoid people um, it probably would be bad to go up to that person and say well you're never going to change um, but you might be doing that just to kind of encourage them to maybe change um, but it's it's very dangerous another thing you can do is start to judge yourself uh, to, to determine what you can do based upon the judgment of another person uh, that you have of another person you can say well he does it so therefore I can do it is also a bad thing to do so anyhow um, just having opinions is not that bad um, however if I get anybody who says well I you know you're not a Christian and you do this blah 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 and I'll say well uh, just keep in mind that a lot of these organizations you're getting your news from such as the 700 club were saying things like you would go to hell if you didn't vote for Donald Trump and uh, that's a judgment that's that's worthy of the same sort of judgment Jesus had of the Pharisees and so you know to say that uh, is to say that uh, you're like a Pharisee now I may be like a Pharisee but I would rather be somebody on the outside kind of pointing out to you that it is more of a problem for you to go and tell other people things like they did on the 700 Club about Trump um, than it is to just leave it to people to kind of decide for themselves what um, they need to believe in that God gave us free will and uh, that means you can go out and do drugs if you want to do drugs you can go out and and um, have sex with anybody you want that's free will you're completely able to do that and it's even though it probably shouldn't be in America such things it it will probably always exist and it probably won't be able you'll probably never be able to control it um, and I think that the conservative viewpoints prefer, prevent people from actually thinking uh, about solutions because they're afraid of what everybody else will think if we I, like I was thinking the other day and I don't know if this is a really good idea but I was thinking you know if they permitted people in jail to do whatever drugs they wanted to do then um, there probably would we probably wouldn't have a problem um, uh, controlling people in jails because they would just be uh, they would just be um, um, doped up all the time you know they wouldn't be out trying to kill the guy next door they would just be sitting there doped up on heroin they'd probably die as a result of it but you know if they if you gave them the option to do that then you know that's that's their free will to do that you know their free will to go to hell if they want to you know it's it's a problem whenever you you see them and you don't feel about it but if it is them doing it and they're doing it by their choice then you should allow them to do it because God gives you the freedom of doing to, to sin it's it's there and preventing people from doing it just gonna make it more attractive to them okay so um, and if you think that it can't work look at uh, look at um, Amsterdam they prove they allow people to do whatever drugs they want in the back of a cafeteria and a cafe 
Um, but they have to do it in a cafe. They can't do it out on the street or anything like that. And that's okay. That permits people to do whatever they want, um, wherever they want. And it doesn't, and then it offers like, you know, they have open to prostitution and, um, but it, they're limited to a particular area of town to do prostitution. And uh, so it opens it up to the prostitutes to also get cared for um, in an open way. And people don't look down on them, uh, even though they might look down on them. They, they're not the, the community, the culture of their, of their, um, of their system doesn't have any reason to to really kind of make everybody a minority that um, that doesn't agree with the 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 majority supposedly majority of the people and um, we also have to realize that rebellion is in the nature of this country because we were re rebels of Britain now, if you say to me that, um, that um, you know, uh, don't rebel against our country, and I'm saying, yes, I'm going to rebel against our country because our country was about rebelling against governments that try to control its people. And whenever the governments and whenever the people try to control the people, I will speak out against that. You have the right in this country to dissent. And that is, you know, that makes us better than China. China doesn't permit this of their people. So the ability for people to openly dissent and to, even when they're working, to like spout out their beliefs and everything should be available there. Um, it's probably wrong for somebody to do something that's harassing people, you know, um, uh, sexually harassing people and stuff like that. But keep in mind what's an opinion, what's, um, what's somebody's viewpoint and try to, try to not, um, moderate them or limit them or just cut them out. Um, let them do it. Okay. Let them do whatever they want. And um, you determine what is good for you and you do what you are going to do that is right and and do it before other people. That's bringing the light to the, to the world. But don't go and force it down everybody's throats because if you do, then um, they're just going to keep doing it and they're probably just not going to listen to you at all. Now, I'm probably, you know, a lot of the conservatives have watched this video and they're probably saying, no, I have no reason to listen to you, you know. And I'm saying, you know, free to be ignorant as much as you want. You're free to be ignorant. And they'll say, well, don't call me ignorant. And I said, yes, you are. You're ignoring me. That's ignorant. That's what it means to be ignorant. Racism is ignorant. That means you, have, you choose a race based on your ignorance of every other race. That's racism. And so you're racist if you choose to not listen to other people. Okay? So, uh, and, and, and prefer your own people. Uh, I'm going to get a, a bumper tag that says this, and I'm going to put it on a car, and it'll say pretty, pretty much this. Um, national pride can guarantee... Uh, uh, evil can be justified by, or, or something like that. You know, national pride makes evil possible. Because it does. You know, When you pride yourself as an American, um, if you're not looking at what it is that um, other people see of America from the outside, then you can't understand what is good about the country that you're in. Um, it isn't looking at people on the outside and saying you don't have this, this, and this. Um, you should be looking to see what they do have. Um, if we look at the East Indians and say, well, you guys are mostly pantheistic. God, um, you're into Hinduism and all this stuff. And you, you don't, you know, uh, keep in mind that they probably understand um, that each person has a capability and that they try to encourage in others their abilities and, and make use of them. Um, 
because they they have all these multiple gods they can't really they maybe don't understand how they can all how there can be one god but the thing is is that they have the they have the understanding that they're everybody is an individual and they have the capacity to you know there there's you know and they recognize in each other a need for a god whereas we have a lot of atheists and you don't see a lot of atheists in, in india do you you know however there you don't want a theocracy um so having theocracies are bad uh, and the reason why is because then your religion controls the government you don't want that you want people who are individuals who will make decisions for themselves and then if they're spouting religion like i do from time to time it's really just to point out that there is a morality and to know where that morality comes from. Um, an atheist doesn't know where their morality comes from or they don't want to know. And if, and if it points to Christianity, then, they, then they'll denounce it, but then they'll try to justify it on something other than Christianity. And, but they can't, they can't reason that it came from evolution. And so that's apologetics, and I learned that from listening to Christian apologetics. Um, and the, the guy that I listened to is Zachy, uh, uh, Rabbi Zacharias, and I've got him on my cha on my Christian channel, uh, Channel Z. And he he'll tell you things like, uh, "You'll never convert a Muslim unless he's a friend or unless he gets visited by the Holy Spirit in a dream." That's the only way that you'll ever convert a Muslim. And um, and he holds panels about civil um, civil discussion and um, civil conversation and being able to do apologetics um, between other individuals have different viewpoints and he holds these panels with atheists and they don't have any problem with him or or he does with them because they're not converting each other they're just trying to have civil discussion and they'll have these people that will come up during those panels and they'll say well, what do you think about um how, how you know uh, how christians do this and how they and then the both of them will kind of get dismayed and they'll say you know we're not here for that we're just here because you need to have civil discussion and we need to find a common ground which people can discuss civil discussion of their beliefs and share them and and learn from each other and see something good in the the other and you know then the person goes away like you know i was really looking for justification that was the kind of thing that the jews were looking for in jesus you know when jesus came about is they they wanted him to have a kingdom on earth and he said no i'm here to change the culture i'm not here to bring a kingdom on earth because it won't work i'm bringing about a kingdom if 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 what he was doing was to coexist with any government he has to put things in there that say that you don't go and um and judge your government and you know do things like that but he had to put that stuff in there because their um, their kingdoms that will go and eliminate Christians. Now, if the Christians can coexist with the kingdom, then they don't see any problem to deal with them, and they and they can go ahead doing their cultural change. They're doing it a subset to that kingdom. They're doing it a subset to each one of these um, these theocracies or um, aristocracies or anything like that. The Christian stuff can coexist. However, in certain of those organizations like the Shintoist in Japan, supposedly the, um, the, um, um, what were the, the, um, uh, oh, the, the, uh, guys with the swords, I'm trying to remember their names. Um, anyhow, they, the samurais supposedly got converted to Christianity and they failed to be effective and so the japanese forced all the um people all the mis missionaries coming into the country to step on a cross before they would come into into the country because um, they wanted uh, they didn't want any christian mis missionaries to come in and convert their samurai to christianity 
and the same thing goes on with uh, China. The China will allow Christian ministries to come in if they're going to teach them English or, or do something that's productive uh, to China. Um, but uh, the old communist China doesn't want any religion, but they're gradually becoming more uh, aware that, uh, and available to that stuff. But they want to be the superpower of the future. Anyhow, just keep in mind that um, I don't care about advertisements. I don't care about um, conservative viewpoints, um, usually, um, unless it's something that agrees with um, um, Jesus or, you know, and I do, I'm, I do openly sin, and I, I've got problems my own, you know, nobody's perfect, and uh, I, you know, you can't, you can't hold everybody to the same, to the same uh, standard, you know, you can't force everybody onto the same standard of living that you live, and um, you should offer to everybody the uh, ability to do whatever they want, so far as so long as it doesn't kill you and the people around you that and that would be a basis for war um but there, there's probably never going to be a war like world war ii was especially since it happened after a depression when you have a depression and people are out of work for a long time and you have a war then everybody has to be employed into that war to fight it because there's nobody employed anywhere else they're all going to be they're all going to employ themselves into the war because they're sick of not having anything to do you see and so that that's what made um that war so productive and what involved everybody's that's what stimulated the economy then was because we had a depression before we had a war. We haven't had that kind of experience since. And that's the reason why when you have a war, it won't stimulate the economy like you think it should. It just puts more taxes on the, on the, on the people. And, you know, and Iraq is not going to become a Christian democracy. Um, they're not going to become a democracy. They're going to get taken over by a theocracy from a neighboring country. It's going to happen. The reason why is because um, they don't have, unless we occupy them for, you know, 20 or 30 years, there's not going to be much change in the, in the area around there. They, they're they there probably to prove to all the Muslims that there's a there's value in having a democracy and not having any more theocracies, you know. But the thing that was crazy about this is that um, Sodom wasn't wasn't religious; he was secular, and so that wasn't even a theocracy, you know. And so what we did is we, you know, it was possible that he was permitting democracy. Um, he wasn't providing providing democracy, but he was providing people the ability to do whatever they wanted to do, kind of in his country, whereas in the theocracy it would be limited by whatever the religion was preaching, okay? And um, in, a, in a Muslim theocracy, if you're a Christian, you'll probably get either imprisoned or killed. And so it's just what they do with Christians in, in Muslim theocracies. And so... That's the reason why we don't want a theocracy is because we don't want to be doing what Trump's doing to the Mexicans. And, uh, I mean, he's, it is a theocracy, but it's a dictatorship of sorts because he's going around and he's separating families and he's, he's treating people unfairly. He's, a, though he might be getting them out of the country, he's doing nothing for, um, uh, people's opinion of us from the rest of the world. And MAGA will never happen for that reason as well. So... I just put that out there and you take it or leave it. Uh, this is my website. I'm all about um, bringing the first year MTV back. I don't want advertisements. I just want music videos. Um, uh, I work for a company that, um, that um, uh, I'll say it's Kroger, and they put um, music on their, on, their, on their speakers and they pride themselves in serving like 100 million people or something like that. You know, my, McDonald's used to do that. They used to have a hundred million 
uh, burgers served or 200 and they would always keep count of it and put it up on there now they don't do it anymore because they don't have any reason to do that but I think Kroger should do the same thing they should just not talk about it um, the other thing that because it's that self congratulatory type effect is basically saying we're vain and prideful and arrogant and um, that's not a good a good message what you should be saying is is that we we like putting music on that's b-sides for uh, stuff that we can't license at a at a discount that we're not willing to license and uh, we haven't we're so conservative that we'll probably never put on anybody who hasn't been on the top of the charts in the last 20 30 years um, 40 50 years um, we will we'll play stuff that got on the top of the charts because we're afraid of what people might think if we put somebody who is just trying to get into the business now and which is what they should do they should have little channels you know one hour two hour channels where they they play music from unknown artists so that people can come to love new music they won't do that because they're a conservative organization all the corporations are conservative organizations because this mantra that business people have anything that's good for consumers is bad for business that's the truth and what it means is it means if you were to do something that would make it easier for consumers to to get by without really paying for something in your organization if if money was not uh, the concern if it was not on the table then we shouldn't even be providing this you know um, if the only reason why they provide music in the stores is to compel people to come to the store and be able to enjoy music while they're while they're passively um, you know compulsively buying products you know they want you to be kind of incapacitated in the music that you're listening to so that you will be continually buying stuff off the shelves if they're trying to they're trying to pander to the psychological makeup that you need to be in order to be um, a compulsive buyer because that's how they make their money they don't want you to get in and out of the store and they and then they wonder why people have bad opinions of them um, or you know or they blame the people on the front end for the for the reason why uh, people don't like their products and the thing is is that um, they probably tell that to every store they probably they tell it to our store they tell it to everybody else's store and uh, I, I just don't like I, I really don't care to work there um, the only reason why I care, work there is for people and I and I believe that maybe someday they might listen to me and they might be able to figure out what their value add is in the world other than trying to save people money because people are trying to save money um, it's kind of uh, if they've got friends then um, and I don't have many friends so I can save money and I don't I'm not subject to this problem but the problem is is that how much do you value their time over the money you're trying to save going across town to save some money you're spending time that you're not spending with them so how are they valuing you as a friend they're probably seeing you as a cheap friend because you only want cheap stuff see if if you had the money if you're rich and you have the money to spend on stuff why not get somebody else to do the shopping like they're doing now or why not um, spend money like you don't really care and and then that trickle down theory that everybody likes in the conservative camp will probably actually show up but it doesn't exist and the corporations are not going to do it they're going to occupy America and they're never going to pay taxes so they're not here to um, they're not here to benefit us they're here to benefit themselves um, they're going to be here to take advantage of the way that America treats people fairly and companies fairly so that they can turn around and offer and uh, take away such rights from people in other countries and make lots of money off of people here who will favor 
saving money to treat saving time uh, to spend time with their families and the other people see if we don't pay workers a good enough or amount of money to work if we're not paying them living wages then they don't have the time or money to spend with their families and so if you're wondering why there's no morality in, in this country reason why Christianity is dying away the reason why people are choosing their own moralities if you're wondering why that's happening this is why it's because you're not you're not paying people uh, the, what they're worth your the corporations are not offering enough vacation time and if you think that you know that's socialist talk yes it is kind of socialist talk if you don't have socialism and capitalism together you don't have salt it's sodium chloride by themselves they are dangerous sodium is an explosive chloride is a dangerous gas in fact the government is so afraid that if a chlorine tanker that's sitting on a trail a railroad track ever got um ever leaked then it would kill an entire city okay that's one of the terrorist schemes the concerns for terrorists is if that ever happened and a war on terrorism doesn't make any sense because anyone can be a terrorist there's nothing i could i could do this put this one out here um if i put um the information on every individual in america into a terabyte phone i could put at least a page and a half on every person in america and so I could be disconnected. I could be dis disconnected from the internet. Be I can I won't be um, I can be I can be off the network uh, without the government ever finding out. Go around and manipulate people in the government and their families have all of that access to that information and do it without anybody finding out. Um, because I've got an entire database of everybody in my iPhone with a terabyte of data. Okay, there's lots of things you can do with lots of of storage that are not being done because people like me uh, don't exist. Uh, but I'm putting this stuff out there because I mean, the people like me probably do exist, but they probably don't think like me. So anyhow, I put this here. I put this music site here. I put the source code out there. I just want people to make use of it if they need to make use of it. And, you know, I think that uh, it's a fair world and it should be more fair. Um, if it ain't a f fair world, then I'm starting to wonder why it is I believe in God. So, um, yes, particularly I'm, I am experiencing something that kind of makes me feel like that the reality I'm in doesn't even isn't even real and just that conservatives can vote for Trump gives me enough of an idea that God's not here um, which really disturbs me because I would I would really rather him be here but I don't know and if all the all of the stuff I've been reading in the Bible isn't true and and in this in this environment um, know what is this environment and why was I not given a formal introduction to the fact that I might be in hell okay I don't know it uh, but I'll put it up there on YouTube people can say I'm crazy but I don't care